Pisces. Hello, my two fishes friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate that you are here. I'm here with a bonus read. I just want to say thank you for all the ways that you've been loving on the channel lately. And uh, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate every click, every time you're in the comments. I love to hear from you and get to know you. It really does make my day. Thank you so much for doing that. And I'm here with a bonus read because of that. So um, I'm going to read for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is a reading that will be for the present or the future energy. This may not resonate today general readings as a rule are are not always for you and will not always resonate today so keep that in mind as you are watching and um let's find out what's going on with pisces my two fishes family i'm two fishes in my moon sign let's find out what's going on with pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter let's find out what's going on pisces Ooh, gosh what is that pisces i just felt like I just felt like I know, it's like somebody out there is like, I know what's coming. I'm just here for a confirmation. That's what it feels like here. Tell me what's coming up for Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Look, we have a full moon coming up, the blue moon. Once in a blue moon, y'all, it's coming up on the 19th um, of the month, and it is in Aquarius. Look, lots of things are about to change, get cut out immediately, boom. There's going to be lots of change coming up here, my friends. Tell me about Pisces. We start with uh, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like there is something here that's about to come into order. <laughs> yeah, I just saw like a judge. I just only saw the gavel. It's about to come to order. That's what it feels like. Things are about to slide into line. Now I'm just seeing, I'm sorry, I've got, uh, for those of you who've never been here before, I probably sound a little crazy, but I do have a guide. I know it sounds a little nuts, but um, I do have a guide. And now I just see all of these soldiers getting in line. It's like they were all over the place and boom, they all get in line. So things are getting in line here for you. They're lining up for you here, Pisces. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. It's because of all the work that you've done. I feel like you're busy at work. I feel like you're like, yeah, whatever else. You tell me whatever's going on, but I'm busy doing what I'm doing. Like, I feel like you're you're being very practical. I feel like you're making money. For some of you, you might even be on a new business venture. Maybe you've opened a business or you're just working really hard on your business. I feel like for those of you who do have a business, that business is about to pick up. We do have Taurus energy here. We also have Virgo energy here. I feel like if you have been um, having uh, issues with or your money's been out of balance, everything's coming back together, coming back into alignment here. Because you've been practical with your time, the way that you've been learning, this could be that you've been, you've been perfecting something, becoming the subject matter expert on something here. Uh, we do have the uh, Page of Wands and it's coming up behind you. Look, it feels like it's coming up behind you when you're not watching. That's what it looks like here. It feels like something is sneaking up behind you. Taurus, it feels like somebody, uh, Taurus, I'm sorry, Pisces, um, same thing. But um, that uh, the, I feel like, something is sneaking up behind you while you're otherwise engaged so it feels like good news excitement whatever it is is showing up while you're basically in this energy of solid grounded dependable i'm going to go over this detail i'm going to work on my business and it feels like you're not even facing towards whatever excitement is coming um, in the very near future tell me more I said Taurus. Maybe it's a Taurus. <laughs> you know, there's Taurus here, right? Maybe it is a Taurus. Take it as it resonates for you, friend. What else do we need for Pisces? Tell me what else Pisces needs to know. We do have the Three of Wands. Something is arriving. Yes. And everything is coming into alignment here, Pisces. That's what it feels like. Now, for some of you, it's money. It's a job. It's something you've been working on. If you've got a business, I feel like business is about to pick up big time. Something is going to excite you here. And it feels like the, the Three of Wands tells me that you're, whatever is on this ship is coming in. I feel like you've been waiting for it. And not waiting for it, waiting for it, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you're by the window waiting for it. But you're like, I've got, it's something has got to break here. It's like you feel it. it. Like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, it's like you feel it. You know it. You have a knowing. That Pisces knowing. If you are a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, you know what I'm talking about, right? You have this knowing of something is supposed to be going down. So where is it? So I feel like for some of you, you decide to engage with your business or the self, self-care. And, oh, it's, it's something that, um, that you're familiar with, I want to say. So 
someone, something, a situation, the Six of Cups shows up, it's all about nostalgia. It's about something that you left back there. And um, it's a memory. It's possibly a happy memory, but it definitely is somebody who I feel that you're going to have some kind of reunion with or a reunion of the situation. We'll talk about that a little bit more. The ships that are coming in are bringing the Six of Cups. It's bringing the Six of Cups here. We've got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I did talk about, I did blurt out Taurus in, in, in at the beginning, right? So it could be someone who is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Tell me um, about what's going to go down as Taurus is, again, I did it. Pisces, as Pisces is very busy with whatever it is that they're doing. We do have the devil energy here, so obsessively working. So maybe I'm calling you Taurus because Pisces, you're working obsessively. <laughs> maybe it's that. Um, but we do have the Nine of Cups. Yeah. And the Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, whatever is coming is about to make you extremely happy. You're going to be excited about it. It is going to cause some sort of a new beginning. I feel like there is somebody here who's been carrying everything on their shoulders by themselves, working. You've been spending a lot of time working, Pisces. That's what it feels like. We have uh, Capricorn. We have the devil energy here. I feel like you've been doubting that anything's going to show up. So I feel like you've been, you've been really filling your time with either self-care working on the self, finding a new skill. Maybe uh, it's something creative, right? Pentacles are also can be creative. Um, it feels like somebody here is has doubts that this kind of happiness, this kind of wish fulfillment is ever showing up for me. So I might as well just carry it all. But I want to say that the Ace of Coins, yes, you're carrying it on your shoulders, right? It does feel like you're carrying it all, all by yourself. But I want to say there's a reason for that. And the reason I feel that you were supposed to do this last stretch, I don't care how long it is, five years, 10 years, a month, whatever it is, you were supposed to be in that energy of being by yourself because you were supposed to gain confidence in whatever it is that you're doing here. And I feel like you were supposed to do it without the help of anyone else because we do have eight pentacles and one is nine. That's stability. That is confidence. That is um, uh, pre-empress energy. That is uh, being single, doing it on your own, building something from the ground up. We do have the three of pentacles. Why is that? Page of swords. The emperor. Do you have a friend who's an emperor? Because I feel like that person's been watching you. That's what it feels like here. We've got the page of swords which is, you know, the emperor, it, it's, it's less about really spying or watching. The emperor is actually learning. They've become a student of you because the emperor doesn't just spy to spy. What kind of, the emperor doesn't have that kind of time. They've got so much that they're doing. I feel like this person is trying to learn about you. And we do have the three of pentacles. It feels like this person is somebody you've either pushed into the friend zone or someone you used to work with, someone you have a professional relationship with. That's what it feels like here. And this person is wants to have victory. They're kind of in an, in an energy of sadness. Something didn't work out. They have regrets. This could be somebody who's showing up that you haven't seen in a while, possibly, who, who is going to bring all of this excitement. Tell me about the page of wands here. It's like you're excited because this is your wish fulfillment, whatever it is. It's part of your wish fulfillment. It's not the big gifts that Santa brings you. It's all the little other things he puts in the stocking. <laughs> I don't know why I just saw stockings hanging over stockings hanging over the uh, the fireplace. That's what I just saw. Somebody putting things in the stockings. We have the two of cups. What? Pisces. This could be a Cancer. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo. Another Pisces, possibly a Capricorn. We do have the two of swords. Seven of Swords. It does feel like the exciting thing that is arriving has to do with love. So it could be platonic or romantic. Take it as it resonates. I feel like it's romantic though. And um, the Two of Swords tells me that 
there has been a block between you and this person. So whether it's a, a literal block online or just I'm not talking to you anymore or maybe they went on with their life, you went on with your life. It feels like that, that kind of block, like our lives are apart now. I want to say with the Seven of Swords, it does feel like that there's something that is under the surface here. Something that's being concealed from you because you think, well, you know, it's over. It's blocked. But I feel like the Two of Swords is actual, like it's silence. It's not, it's not the ending of anything. It's silence. It's immovable. It's like I feel stuck right here. I've got nine swords here. Somebody's worrying about this Two of Cups. Tell me more about this for Pisces. We've got the Six of Wands, We've got the Ace of Swords, and the Hermit. Somebody has been silent with you. Somebody has been silent. They've been holding secrets. Somebody has been healing without you. They could be a Virgo, possibly. Could be a Leo. It does feel like somebody wants the victory in some type of new conversation. Somebody wants to open a conversation with you. This is somebody that you either had an ending with or it feels like it's somebody you released for sure. We've got seven and then two more swords is nine and then one here is ten. So it feels like you've already released this person back to the universe, Pisces. You've already released them and said, take them back. They're yours. It's not going to work out with us. Take it back. It feels like this person is coming back. They could be a, a Virgo, a Cancer possibly. Tell me what the relationship is here with the Six of Cups. Why do they know each other? It feels like you guys know each other. Maybe you've worked together. Maybe you've been on projects together. Um, but it does feel like you, you already know this person. Page of Coins. Six of Swords in the reverse. And Judgment. It does, definitely does feel like there are uh, that there you could have worked with this person. It doesn't have to be that, but I also feel like the Six of Swords being in the reverse tells me that things are have stopped or are stuck or we're not moving. There's no movement here. But I feel like somebody is making a decision um, that is going to bring movement, that's going to bring wish fulfillment and excitement. There is a, a decision that's about to be made here. Um, could be being made by you, Pisces, or maybe a Virgo. Tell me, um, tell me what the decision is. The decision is, is that somebody after a very long time is showing up. The Five of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like they're, the parting that you two had maybe just wasn't great. It doesn't feel like it was an argument, but it does feel like it was a confusing conversation that was misinterpreted by either you or them. When I see the Seven of Cups showing up with the Five of Swords, it feels like the conversation, there was like an illusion or confusion or something that, um, something that we didn't go over the details about. And so it's a misunderstanding. Somebody's making a decision to come clear something up. That's what it feels like. So what's all falling in line here then? What's the Six of Pentacles for? We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Magician in the reverse, and we have Strength. I really do feel like it's a miscommunication. You feel like this person manipulated your time, your energy. You feel like um, they are somebody that you can't really trust. I want to say you want to trust them, but I feel like you've been holding back from them and not calling them, not speaking with them, because there is some sort of mistrust here. Or it's a mistrust because of some sort of communication that didn't go off as it should have. We've, the Eight of Cups were emotionally disconnected here. Somebody Somebody walked away. Tell me what the outcome is here. These people come together. What is? Uh, what else is going on here? It's almost like this person tried you. It's like a manipulation of strength. It's like, don't try me. It's it, it, This person underestimated you, Pisces. They took your kindness for weakness. Pisces is beautiful on the surface, right? And so, um, you know, what, no matter where it comes up, sun, moon, or rising. And I feel like this person took your kindness for weakness. They didn't realize how strong you were. We do have justice. You are getting justice, my friend. We do have the Ace of Wands. Wow. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So it does feel like you are going to be able to, to let go of any sort of heavy feeling that you've had about this relationship. You are going to get justice and some sort of passionate new beginning. There is somebody here who I feel is very interested in you and you don't know it. You don't know it. Um, you may feel it right? Because the moon energy is Pisces and Cancer. You may feel it, but this person has never said it to you on the surface. 
They've never said anything and they're about to show up here making a decision to go over details with you. Somebody is making a decision real time in the 3D here um, because they don't want to hold back anymore. It's breaking their heart. They miss you. They miss you and it, it's breaking their heart to hold back. They don't want to be in indecision. Like It's almost like somebody here feels like I need to talk to Pisces because I have to shut this down or figure out what's going on here. It's like somebody no longer wants to go with what if. What if I would have pursued Pisces? What if Pisces would have pursued me? What if? That's what this feels like here. Feels like the five of wands is the what if part of it. And somebody's like, I need to know for sure. Am I supposed to be mourning because my heart is broken? Or is it what if? I feel like somebody's making a decision to come forward here. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords. It could be a conversation that is a little bit tough. I'm going to say you might have words for this person. This person is coming in solid, grounded, ready to settle down. Somebody who is very giving and kind. They're probably going to buy you something, maybe take you out for dinner or coffee. Uh, but it feels like this person, the reason that they haven't showed up is because they feel like you're going to give them what for. Queen of Swords in the reverse. That you're... They feel like you're going to be unreasonable. They feel like you're going to be unreasonable and blame them for things. It feels like this person has a lot of regret about how whatever has transpired here. But I really do feel that it is a lesson learned. The reason you two are supposed to spend time apart is to learn this lesson. And I think it's right around the corner that you see this person because we do have the nine of wands here, which tells me something is right around the corner. Something that's ex been exhausting for you. So we do have, um, yeah, let's pick them up. Let's find out what we do have here. Yeah, second here. Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius. We have um, more Virgo here. We have Virgo and Pisces. Lots of Virgo energy. We have Aquarius again uh, another time here. We have uh, uh, Pisces and Cancer energy. We have uh, Sagittarius, more Aquarius energy. We have Libra. We have Aries and... Um, Aries and Gemini energy. We've got more Aquarius energy. Um, we do have Capricorn, Cancer, um, Virgo, Pisces, and Taurus. What is this? Ah, uh, Aries. All right. I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for coming and watching here, Pisces. Appreciate all the th ways that you love me, and I love you right back. I'm going to go for now. You guys take care. Bye-bye.